Hi everyone, I'm Abby and I am a current member in the International Honor Society in Education at the University of South Florida. I am learning how to become a teacher and majoring in elementary education. My goal one day is to be a third or fourth grade teacher, but of course I love all students and I would love to teach any grade that I was given the chance to. Today I'm going to be reading a book that I chose um, that you can show to your student or to your child and hopefully they enjoy it as much as I do. Today I chose a book called If You Give a Pig a Party and this book is by Laura Numroth, illustrated by Felicia Bond. So, of course, we see the author right here and the illustrator right here. And if you give a pig a party. Let's begin. All right. If you give a pig a party. She's going to ask for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends to invite them to the party. There she is in her dress, all the balloons everywhere. Looks like an awesome party. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. On the way, she'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. I don't know if anyone has ever been on bumper cars, but they are so much fun. All of her friends will be there. Look, there's all her friends on the bumper cars. So cool. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides and she'll want to play all the games as two. So there's the pig. She's on the ride with all her friends and now they're playing games. That looks like a pretty cool game. When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes. So you'll have to take her home. There. there they are getting ice cream and look she's all dirty she got the ice cream on her dress she'll ask her friends to come along on the way she'll start a game of hide and seek so there she is running away going to hide and there they are in the woods you guys see the pig where is she hiding yeah, she's right there. She's a sneaky pig. When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. Then she'll want to have a sleepover, and you'll have to find pajamas. So there they are eating dinner, and now they're getting ready for bed. And blankets and pillows for everyone. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a... Uh-oh, what's going to happen? What do you guys think is going to happen? They all have their pillows and blankets. This can only mean one thing. She'll probably start a pillow fight. There they go. Oh my goodness. Look at how much fun that looks. Wow, so cool. Then she'll make a fortress out of blankets. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. Look at that cool fort. Pretty cool. So of course she wants to decorate it. So she'll probably ask for some balloons. And chances are, if you give her some balloons, what's gonna happen if we give our pig some balloons? Well, if you give her some balloons, she's going to ask you for a party. And there we go. Back to the beginning. 
Awesome. So that's the end of the book. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite books from growing up. It's from the series If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. So if you've ever read that book, this is kind of like a spinoff on that one. But anyways, thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.